Hi, I'm Laura Beltran with Nature Investigations. This week's nature mystery is something that you might see on the surface of a stream, a river, or on a lake on a windy day. So what causes the whitish to tannish foam on the surface of the water? Water molecules are chemically attracted to each other, which causes surface tension. And this is why some insects can be on the surface of the water. This surface tension can be reduced by decomposing plant material. So leaves and twigs and sticks and parts of the soil can run into the water and they have fatty acids in them and oils in them. And that can make the surface tension be reduced. This allows air to get into the water. When air gets into the water, it creates bubbles, especially when water is running over logs or rocks in a stream. The bubbles then rise to the surface of the water and creates this foam. You can also see more of the foam in the streams and rivers after it rains because the rain will wash out the leaves and the soil and all those fatty acids into the water. You can tell foam that's been created by natural causes because it's white and then will turn tan over time because of soil particles in the water. Polluted foam is usually bright white, has a chemical odor to it, and it's slimy to the touch. So next time that you're out hiking and you're hiking near a stream or a river, especially after a rainy day, look to see if you can find any foam in the eddies and where the water runs over logs. I hope you enjoyed this week's Nature Mystery. See you next time.